Oh, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video to the channel, guys. It's been a while since I've um made a reaction video. I mean, I just recently reacted to another video, but today we're gonna be reacting to I Heard My Mom Speaking at Night. Uh, we're gonna be reacting to two videos for today, guys. Hope you guys will enjoy this video, and uh, yeah. I thought it was a ghost. No, it's not a ghost. It's just freaking. Freaking daytime still, so let's go and uh start the video. My freaking hair is so weird, I just cut my hair by the way. And yeah, my parents literally just shaved the whole thing with this. So just give me a haircut, but yeah, let's go and uh let's go right into the video. <laughs> Every night, I hear my mother through the walls, but she never talks during the day, only at night. Like clockwork, she begins at midnight and abruptly stops at 6 a.m. I've heard everything, from harsh whispers, playful talking, cackling, and even screaming. Some of the things I hear her say frighten me. It's about dark and dreadful things. Whenever I enter her room to check on her, the silence is there. She just rocks in her chair. This is enough. I can't take it anymore. My mom has been suffering from seizures for the past few years, and they're getting worse. Oh the doctor told me that she needed full-time care, so I volunteered. Even though she has always been estranged, and I hadn't seen her in a decade, I knew she needed me. <laughs> So, I kind of thought it might be my last chance to stay with her. But, it's gotten too much. She scares me. She doesn't even eat. I've tried and tried, but she doesn't open her mouth. I've tried to get her out of her bedroom, or at least out of her chair, but she gets aggressive. So, whenever she needs a bath, I bathe her right where she sits. She just rocks in her chair, mindlessly smiling at her closet. She does this all day. I have no idea what I have to do next. I'm about to go insane. I can handle caring for her during the day, but at night, I can't anymore. So I finally went to the doctor for some help. I told him that she's been keeping me up at night with her whispering and talking. And I also told him that it's getting too much and she's starting to scare me. But his facial expression while looking towards me was weird. He stared at me like he didn't understand what I was talking about. And what the doctor said next scared me even more. Well, I think you had a bad dream. Your mother bit her tongue off a few years ago. She can't talk at all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, this is the next video. The true horse time. Uh, horse. It happened when I was around 11 years old. One day, I was at my friend Kenzie's house. My other friend Emma joined us too. It was a lazy weekend, so we decided to kill some time by baking cookies and doing other things. We all gathered in Kenzie's room and did our geometry homework, which was the main reason we were all there. But soon after, we got bored doing it since we were young teenage girls. So we jumped on the bed, watched YouTube and Netflix, and told each other scary stories. The one I'll never forget is Kenzie's story. She told me a story that kept me paranoid for the rest of my stay at the house. She told us the owner of the house was found murdered in this house, and she sometimes feels like someone lives in her closet. A few hours later, Kenzie's parents said that they were going to a party and wouldn't be back until 6 in the morning. Kenzie didn't want to spend the night with her grandma and little sister, so she suggested that we should have a sleepover. It sounded like a great idea, so we just called each of our parents and it took a lot of convincing to have the sleepover. When we got permission, we all changed into Kenzie's pajamas, got in bed, and watched something scary. It was almost 8pm. Kenzie's room was so messy 
It almost looked like a pig's pen, so we decided that we would record a time lapse of us cleaning. We were in the middle of cleaning the room when the doorbell suddenly rang. It was our pizza delivery. We all forgot to turn the camera off and left to eat. We just sat in the living room, ate and talked for a while. After we finished eating the pizza, we went back to her room. I realized that we left the camera on. But as I reached to grab my phone, I felt something. I was anxious, even though her room was very silent. So I told my friends to come closer. We all stood there and watched the video. As soon as we left, the window opened slowly. There was a man who came inside, and then he ran into the bathroom. We all froze, knowing that someone was in the bathroom, which was connected to this room, but tried not to make any noise. Then, Kenzie told us that we should all leave this room, so we did just that. We oh, went to her grandma's room with her little sister. We immediately locked the door, called the police and Kenzie's parents. Thankfully, the police arrived oh. in less than five minutes. When they arrived at the house, they went to Kenzie's room and found the man. Near the sink was a gun and a pocket knife, and they arrested him. It turns out that he was put in jail last week for raping young girls and then murdering them. But he escaped prison and tried to find another victim. I couldn't help but imagine what would have happened if I didn't look at the footage on my camera. To this day, I hate going to sleepovers. Now I'm 16 and I heard that the man escaped again after killing the security guards. I hope he's not looking for me or my friends. Oh. Yo, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video or maybe gaming video. Peace.